Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done MD in Forestry Medicine. And today we will discuss about part 1 of Wound Biostics in which we will discuss about mechanism of discharge of projectile and mechanism of injury produced by firearms and its characteristics on skin. So coming to mechanism of discharge of projectile. So whenever there is trigger is pulled, it may be a shotgun or a firearm. The firing pin which by mechanism of spring hits the primer. The primer which is present in the base of the cartridge. So when the fire, firing pin hits the strikes the primer cup, the priming mixture which is present in the primer cup, it explodes. This releases a flash from the primer flash from the primer which ignites the gunpowder which is present in the cartridge. When this powder cartridge is ignited, it may be propellant in the form of propellant. It ignites, it burns and it causes, it, it creates a lot of gas. So when this gas expands, this the cartridge case is expands and it loosens the hold on the projectile, which makes the projectile to come outside the barrel of muscle line. It may in rifle it may be a single projectile, in shotgun it may be a multiple pellets may be released. This is how the firearm is discharged. So accompanied by the projectile, sometimes projectile is accompanied by unburned propellant particles like unburned gun powder particles may be present. Sometimes partially burned propellant particles are present. Sometimes soot are also accompanied by the propellant uh, of the propellant will be present. Soot is nothing but the burnt smoke which is present which is also accompanied. Then there is nitrates and nitrates from combustion of propellants. This is helpful for uh, detecting of uh, residues on the hand of a person who fires a firearm. Detection of nitrates and nitrous gas that the, that's the person who has fired the gun. Then particles of primary residues like oxides of lead, antimony and barium also seen. Then there is vaporized metal or metallic particles stripped from the bullet and cartridge case also may be accompanied by the bullet or for projectile. So when firearm are fired, fired, there is a presence of gun uh, noise which is caused by the muscle blast or sudden release of gases disturbing the air. So blast has a shape of a cone, the apex of which is located in the base. So whenever there is a firearm is blast is there, the smoke or a fire comes in the form of cone, the base is which present in the near the muscle end. So there is two terminologies which is present for this. One is muscle blast which is the release of gases under high temperature and pressure from the muscle of the firearm when it is discharged and muscle flash which is a visible light which is seen as a muscle blast. So muscle blast is the gases which are released in high temperature and muscle flash is the visible light seen from the firearm. So whenever there is a firearm is ignited, fired, there is visible light seen in the muscle end. Now coming to mechanism of injury, as mes missile that is projected towards the body, it causes injury by transferring its some or all of its energy. So all so all projectile has some energy which is calculated using some formula like from using the mass then the velocity of the of the projectile of when it enters and exits and this kinetic energy is the energy transfers in the skin because of this energy there is injury occurs this energy, this results in manifestation manifested as lacerations or crushing of tissue in the near parts along the body as blood moves through the body, it crushes and shreds the tissue in its path and as the projectile flings outwards and as it rotates in the body and in the surrounding tissue, it produces temporary cavity which is considerably larger than the diameter of the bullet. So in this image you can see as bullet travels the skin, it because of the energy it causes temporary cavity formation inside the tissue. So cavitation in the squared organs like liver, kidney and spleen may often be fatal because of a large amount of hemorrhage it may cause and person may die because of magic shock. Now coming to characteristics of firearm wounds. So characteristics of firearm wounds depends on various factors like nature of the firearm like whether it is shotgun or rifle. So rifle there is a single wound will be present but in shotgun there is multiple wounds will cause because of pellets. So multiple pellets are present so multiple small small wounds will be present. Then shape and composition of the missiles. So in the bullets also there are different like dum dum bullet is there, hollow point bullet is there. So based on the shape it may be single small hole or it may be large hole caused by mushrooming effect of the bullet. 
So they based on that there is shape difference. Then range of firing. So closer the range, the the the, the def uh, defect or injury will be more. The longer the range, the 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 injury will be less. Then the part of the body stuck, whether it is stuck on the head or trunk, based on that also the injury differs. Direction of firing, it if it is directed directed to the body or it has uh, ricocheted from other object and it has hit the body it all depends on the, that also now characteristics of paramoons so these are a few characteristics which are seen in most of the paramoons typically seen typically seen in around the any paramoons first is the tattooing tattooing is caused by the unburned particles so it consists of unburned or partially burned powder particles that is gun powder that are embedded in and under the skin through the force of their impact. So, as I mentioned, whenever a propellant is ejected, there are some unburned particles also are ejected. These unburned particles, because of their force, gets embedded in the body, leading to tattooing. It consists of numerous reddish brown punctuate abrasions surrounding the wound of entrance. So, they look like punctuate abrasions with if you examine clearly, there will be presence of uh, unburned particles will be present in this wounds. The greater the range, the larger and less dense the powdering tattooing will be present. Tattooing indicates it is an anti-mortem wound. So, because the body sh a person should be alive to cause anti abrasions, there should be bleeding should be present in only in live person. So, if tattooing is seen, that is unburned particles inside the tissue with bleeding, that indicates the person was alive. Next picture of a pheromone is tippling. It is a visible mark left by powder grains when it does not get embedded in the skin. So these are usually the unburnt, uh, burnt, uh, partially burnt, produced by uh, materials like shotgun fillers, fragments of intimate targets. So these are few things which are not the uh, projectiles, but some particles which get embedded in the powder grains, get embedded in the skin. These are not gun powder particles but other particles like shotgun fillers like wads or fragments for empty targets may be embedded this is called leads to stippling next there is blackening or shoot or smoke soiling or smudging this is caused by burnt particles tattooing is unburnt burnt burnt gun powder is a smoke black smoke this black smoke or powder shoot produced by combustion of gun powder gets deposited on the skin as the rage increases, the size of zone of blackening also increases, whereas density will decrease. It can be easily removed with a wet sponge. This is just a suit, it can be easily removed. Next is fouling. These are tiny lesions around the entry wound caused by fragments of metal expelled for the discharge. So, whenever the entry, they, it, these are caused by fragments of metal which are expelled in the discharge. So, in some defects in the barrels or defection of bullets may cause fragments to be expelled. This may get embedded in the tissues leading to falling. These fragments may come either from the surface of the bullets or from the interior of the barrel and cannot be wiped off from skin. So these are fragments may be because mainly because there is a defect in the barrel of bullet which get embedded in the tissue leading to falling. Next is the abrasion collar or abrasion ring. In this there is a has as bullet strikes the skin, it first indents and then stretches the skin. So when the bullet enters, it usually first indents the skin, then it stretches the skin. So that the perforation takes place through the tense area, which produces a rim of flattened reddish brown zone of abraded epidermis surrounding the entrance wound. So because of its pressure on the skin and stretching of the skin, it causes and uh, reddish brown abraded epidermis on the skin. That is the abrasion collar. So in this image you can see as uh, the bullet enters, it stretches and exits. It the indents and stretches the skin causing the surrounding tissue get abraded. So if the bullet strikes perpendicularly, it produces concentric ring and if the bullet prints the oblique angle, it, there is an eccentric wider zone will be present. So if the bullet enters perpendicular skin, the abrasion will be concentric ring as it will be seen as a concentric ring. But if bullet enters in the angle, it causes an eccentric or an oval shaped abrasion. So, in this image, you can see the abrasion caused by the bullet. So, this is the abraded part. So, bullet has entered in this direction. So, this is helpful to detect the 
direction of the wound as entered. So it has it enters, it abrades the abrasion, uh, abrades the skin, entering the skin, skin, leaving the abrasion color also called a ring. Sometimes this abrasion may be or can be a contusion, which is called as contusion color. Then recoil and muscle impressions. So this is seen only in where the muscle uh, bullet, uh, the muscle is tightly in contact with the skin. If the contact is tight, muscle impression is seen due to firm mechanical pressure of the impact of the metal rim against the skin and also due to subcutaneous expansion of gases lifting the skin forcibly against the muscle. So muscle end, if it is closely in contact with the skin, it leaves a visible mark on the skin. So this is mainly because as the bullet enters the skin, it causes explosive gases, recoil of gases, which causes the skin to rupture. This also leaves the visible mark of the muscles really on the skin. Then lastly, that is a grease color or dirt color. So this is a black gray color ring is seen lining the defect sharply outlined the caused, outline caused from removal of substances from the bullet as it passes through the skin. It mainly consists of bullet lubrication, lead from the surface of bullet, barrel debris, gun oil or from, imprint, or from the interior of the barrel. So whenever the bullet enters the skin, so usually the bullet has accompanied with bullet, there is some oil or grease accompanied by which. So whenever it enters the skin, it's deposited around the rim of the skin. So around the rim, it gets deposited, which is called as grease or dead color. These are my references. Thank you.